Okay, the highlights from Thursday, March 29th, GreatStockPicks.com chat room. Uh, the very first call I made today, MCP was just hot right out of the gate. I don't know if you saw the chart we posted last night, um, but I said this red candle didn't bother me. This thing has no resistance to the left if it can get going. And then it was hot right out of the gate, okay? So when I printed this red five-minute candle, um, I started looking for a place to turn using two-minute candles and ended up giving a verbal because I didn't have time to type. Things are happening so quick. Uh, in the 32... 60s I liked it with a, a stop below recent lows 3240 so about 20 25 cents risk and from 3260 uh, really five uh, I'm sorry about six eight minutes later it was all the way over uh, 33 it's up to 3335 um, and just so people don't think well I wonder if anybody got it I every once in a while I'll take a screenshot Dana I uh, asked if anyone got uh, MCP now to be fair I didn't get it uh, again I don't like trading early but it was an idea that I put out um, and anyway, from the 3260s, makes it all the way uh, to 3420 something. Very impressive move in MCP. But again, not really an official call. That was just an idea that I put out verbally early. Um, United Airlines was back on watch because of the breakout yesterday. Okay, so uh, UAL, I actually did put out a call. 2170 idea uh, with the pop up with the trigger and stop there. 2170, worst case stop, um, 16 cents below. Okay. Uh, let's show you the exact entry here. Try to show you what it looked like at the time. Five minute candles. It looked like this. And my thinking was if it got up to here, it's probably going to get through the high of the day after yesterday's strength. Okay, so 2170. And uh, it, it triggers right there. And then finally gets going and goes from 2170 to 2254 on 16 cents risk that never stopped out. I'm not going to go into my own personal trade on that um, because it's too embarrassing, but my idea worked um, and I made money on it, but nowhere near what I could or should have. Um, I'm guilty at times of moving my stop once I scale out some into a into a nice pop. I'm, I'm guilty at times of moving my stop on the rest to break even too soon. So sometimes I'm too defensive. Um, Lionsgate, let's try that again, LGF. This was back on watch. If you saw, if you looked at any of our charts from last night, uh, you knew Lionsgate was back to support and it sold off for several days, so it lands on bounce watch. Um, I made a couple calls in Lionsgate this morning. The first one didn't stop out, but I took a flat on it, um, but it held the stop and it was really tight. But I'll just go with my second call um, because that one uh, actually made me some money. Uh, Lionsgate, here's the early high of the day. These are five minute candles. There's the opening uh, five minute candle high and then I put in a lower high here. So I just basically called it long. Uh, and the market was really weak early. I called it long over this area. So my entry was 13.54 was my long idea. Worst case stop, um, where was the stop? 14 cents below, okay, so 13.40. Never came close to stopping out. And from 13.54, uh, you can see it went to 14.22 for a really nice gain on um, you know, 16, 14 cents risk. And I, I literally did sell my last little bit in the final five minutes right up here. I wanted to give that one all day. This one could be multi-day. Nice green candle, nice bounce. Could be multi-day, but I'm not a big fan of overnight holds. So I'll take the day trades and get out. But uh, Lionsgate, very nice. Um, Expedia. Expedia, the reason this one was on watch, it's five minute candles. We played this yesterday as a trade on this push down. You know I like bottom feeding. And it gave us a nice bounce here yesterday. And we got a nice trade in it. Well, then lo and behold, look what happens today. Uh, one of our members said, hey, look, Expedia is still basing. So when I saw that, um, I told everybody I liked it over the high of the day. Now, normally, if you've watched our videos, I do not like high of day breaks. Expedia was an exception because I liked this bounce here. I loved the volume, and we were watching this. A big block's coming in, um, and it just continued the base after the bounce this morning. So that's a rare occasion when I said I like high of day breaks. The entry 3268, which I posted a reminder right before it triggered in chat. Um, because you have a tendency to see these bases and then they go like this 20 30 minutes later You forget about them, but I, I was right there on it posted the reminder right there in chat um, 3268 idea worst case stop would be below this base uh, Look how much longer it went on worst case stop would be below this old red candle here 1349 So 19 cents risk and once it finally got going um, 3268 gets you to 3337 so a decent move there um, LVS, one of our all-stars, ZOZO. I'm going to explain this entry to you as well. 
LVS was selling off all day, kind of had that PFPD look, which is one of our setups, potential final push down, but then it starts chopping sideways, okay? What do we do to, to find an entry on these? We go to a longer term time frame, like 15 minute candles, um, and just look for the first break of a previous 15s high. Very clean stair step, nice narrow green candle here. 54, I'm sorry, 56.42 if the next candle gets there is a break of this candle's high and your stop goes below this candle's low, 56.26. So Zio Zio, great idea. He put out the LVS 15s idea. Um, and from there, from 56.42, it ended up uh, closing, getting almost uh, the height of the bounce there, closed there, uh, 57.37. So a nice move from 56.42 on 16 cents risk. Um, and even an inter interesting idea that I put forth no, that's not it. RRD, I believe, was it. Um, one of our rare Tokyo entries. I won't go into the reason for the name of the call, um, but this is kind of a unique type of trade. Okay? Um, when you see volume out of nowhere, uh, well, I'll just tell you the reason for uh, the name real quick. We had a member in our chat room um, named Tokyo was his chat room name. And uh, anytime he saw a volume spike, he would just jump in. Um, and I'm sure he would kill it if it reversed on him. So, uh, that's what we named this trade at Tokyo after him. Um, but I spotted this volume spike, and actually this was only at 1246 at the time. I typed in possible Tokyo here, 1246, and your stop goes below this green candle, 1238. What's the thinking there? Um, more than likely, it got good news because it's moving, and you've got big volume. Rather than figure out what the news is and try to understand how important that is to that company, I'm not smart enough to do that with all within a minute or two, so we call it Tokyo which means you jump in. Now, if this was a dollar candle, I wouldn't have done it, right? But we caught it fairly tight. So we jumped in at 1246. Worst case, stop goes below the screen candle, 1238. And then look what it did. Base for a little bit and ends up getting through the high of the day. So an extremely low risk trade there. 1246, um, eight cents risk, and it ends up making it uh, to 1272. So a nice little trade there, uh, which came out of nowhere. You know, uh, just because of the volume spike, uh, I happened to be able to put this out to our room. Um, Go through some screenshots from today. Uh, there you can see one of our members got some LGF. Uh, this was cool. Uh, anyone with an FT on the front of their uh, for their chat room names, that's for that was one of our free trial members today, um, and they put out LGF uh, heading towards what we call an accidental home run. Um, I may be able to pay for a lifetime membership from their free trial today. So I always thought uh, I thought that was kind of a cool comment. Um, another guy profiting on uh, LGF. And then there's Zio Zio's call, the 15's call. And I explained to you in that uh, video what that meant. Um, and this is what I just talked about, RRD volume. And then right after that, you can see I typed in, could be a Tokyo. I gave the trigger and stop idea. And we had members make money on that as well. Um, oh, and then there was my Expedia call, the reminder that the high of day break. Um, and then another guy who just joined the room, Sydney said, uh, thanks. He, he had a really nice trade in one of the calls today. Um, I believe it was LVS. He, he rode along that 15s on LVS um, and he joined after right after his free trial. So, And then another comment from a member. I don't chat, chat much, but great traders in this room and that is uh, very, very true. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, a very nice day and some great low-risk entries for us and uh, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow.